I'm a diehard Steeler fan, and Bobby Brister was the quarterback, and he bought his mother this black and gold Seville. When Taylor was born, I nicknamed him Bobby, and it stuck. Bubby Brister, he could buy his mom a Cadillac. My Bubby's going to buy me a BMW. Did you ever get that BMW? No. He has a BMW, though. <laughs> Just one of four NCAA Division I players to record at least 2,000 career points, 600 rebounds, and 500 assists. It's my pleasure to welcome in one of the greatest clutch performers in we've ever witnessed, really, in Happy Valley history. Taylor battle first off how you doing today man I'm doing great thanks for having me what is it like driving back into state college for you I mean it just brings back so many great memories the shots that I made here the wins that we had all the great performances the Nittany Lions of Penn State University when I come here I really feel at home so you mentioned a couple of times that you've been back here in State College catching a couple of games. What, what else have you been up to? Just being a family man. You know, I got two kids and my wife, and, uh, you know, that's, that's what I take pride in now. I don't, I don't play the game anymore, so, you know, I just try to follow along, and, you know, I watch every Penn State game, and I watch every Northwestern game because my brother's on the team. Age difference between me and Boo, I'm 31, and Boo is 20, so 11 years, so, you know, that's such a big gap, it's not, it was more of like a father-son thing between me and him. He was able to be a fan and see what it was like to go to, you know, big arenas once he was coming to Penn State games. I spent a lot of time in the Bryce Jordan Center. That's where, like, basically I grew up, and that's where, like, I really started to admire basketball. I was watching Taylor. After every game, I would go on the court and I would just shoot. And, like, you weren't even allowed to shoot on the court after the game, but since my brother was my brother, the security would let me on the court and I would just be shooting there. First round of the NIT, and we're all uh, in my mom's room where TG was. George Mason goes up like three. Everybody's like, ah, oh, that's over. Everybody starts leaving out the room. Not Boo Boo. He was jumping on the bed saying, we're going to win. He's going to do it. And he caught the inbound and he ran all the way up the sideline jumps in the air and he turns to the side and shoots it. Does it again. And Boo jumped like off the bed, onto the floor, cheering and screaming. Boo was always probably his biggest fan. I'm sad. I knew it. Don't make you cry. It's all right. I remember it was very emotional for me because, you know, that was going to be the last time I took the court at the BJC. Everyone started crying. I didn't start crying, but everyone else started crying, and I'm just, like, looking around. Because, like, there's so many people, and I'm just like, wow. Please give a warm round of applause to Nittany Lions Senior Guard. I remember Boo Boo, as a little kid, he probably thought, this is it, this is life. Boo in the front, Boo Boo. Boo in the front. He always had these aspirations of doing everything that Bubby did. And I just admired him, like, since I seen that. And I was just like, yeah, that's what I want to do. When he was going into high school, he moved from Pennsylvania up to New York with me and my older brother, Tracy. And it was just a, you know, get him around the boys, you know, let's make a run at this thing if he really wanted to be serious about basketball. Taylor was working me out a lot, and that's when I started taking basketball very seriously. And I remember being so hard on him, like in the summers, being so hard on him when he was ninth, 10th grade. And then I took a step back, and it was just like, you know what, when it wasn't about, you know, me pushing him or wanting it for him, and him wanting him for himself to be successful and get his Division I scholarship, that he just started working his tail off. Booey again! And there's Taylor Battle. Fired up. I've always wanted to get to that point of everyone watching me. I wanted it to be my turn to shine now. 
Battle drives past Sollinger off the window and gone. A great play by Battle. It's such a treat for me having played in this league and watching my little brother play and have some success. Before the season even started, he's like, we want you to win every game except for the Penn State games. I want Penn State to win the game, you know, and I just hope he plays really well. It should be fun. There should be a decent amount of purple shirts in there, except I'm not wearing purple. I mean, you see what I'm wearing. Bowie now. Drives right off a young screen. Puts up a runner off the window and in. Yeah! Sorry, I can't help it. Yeah, we can handle her. Bowie brings it the other way. Where's it, Bo? Nice, Bo! Nice. Good pass, Bo. Stevens in the lane. Puts one up, caught it, and a pass. Oh, come on. This is the avalanche we were talking Here about. Here it comes. And unfortunately for Northwestern, there's nowhere to go. Boo Booey is a heck of a player, but this is a tough spot today. I almost feel like I felt on senior night. Wounded. Penn State holds off a late rally by the Wildcats to win it. Well, that was the weirdest game I ever like watched, bro. Boo going to be the last one to come up. He always the last one. Hey, boy. That's where I lost all my height at. <laughs> yeah, I got down too much, bro. I, I got down I know, too much. Came back. I haven't played on that same floor for four years. Now I'm watching my little brother. You know, that's just something that, you know, those are those memories that really matter. You know, I'm proud of the way he played, and I'm sure it was a great time for him. Yeah, get right here. Yeah. Should I be here? Yeah, okay.